Okay, so we're looking at a, first off, we're looking at a concentrations volumetric calculation. Okay, so you've got to work out what bits you're looking for here. So the important things that we're looking at is the ethanol and the dichromate. Okay, so I'm just going to pull them out so that I know that this is a three to two. Because you know you're going to have to work through that originally. Okay, the only kind of really useful information to start. That's not true. Obviously, there's lots of inf useful information. The first bit you've got to start with is this 1.65 times 10 to the minus 4 was unreacted. OK, so this is a back titration that we're running here. So if we've unreacted, this is the unreacted, you have to figure out the initial to work out how much you started off with. So you started off with N equals CV. Uh, so our concentration and volume of the acidified potassium dichromate is over here. So 0 0.01 times 0 0.025. OK, so 0 0.00025. Or if you want, if your calculator's done it or you're happier, then that would be 2.5 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 to the minus 4. OK, right. So to get how much did react, OK, so I reacted is equal to obviously our initial minus our unreacted. So take, where are we going? Take this one away from this one. So that means that we have, and I've just already done the calculation, 8.5 times 10 to the minus 5, or obviously you could have with all your zeros. I'm apologising about the phone pinging. Um, but I keep on forgetting to switch off. Okay, so now we've got our reacted moles, and then we go back to our ratio. Okay, so we need to take that 2 to 3. So divide that by 2 and then times it by 3 tells me that I have 0 0.0001275 moles of ethanol reacted. Okay, you're not done. Okay, because what, what that was, was moles in 1 centimetres cubed of the diluted solution. Okay, so to work out how many moles I had in the total diluted solution, I'm going to times that by 1000. Okay, so I get 0 0.0. Oh, no, 0 0.1275, okay? Right, so that's moles in my 1,000, like my original litre, but that's also, and this is really important, the number of moles in the 2,000. Oh, excuse me. I'll see if I can trim that out. Um, oh, and Teams is going mental as well. Um, right, okay, so we've got um, the moles in 1,000, which is also the moles in the original, in the original 20, okay? So if that's the moles in the original 20, then I'm going <laughs> to... Sorry, this is all the Teams assignments coming up. I'm, I'm going to finish this one off, but I will try and see if I can edit next time and I will remember to switch all my notifications off. Okay, so this is the moles in the original 20. So if I'm looking for my moles, my concentration, my final one I'm going to put up here, concentration is moles over volume. So that's going to be our 0 0.1275 divided by 0 0.02. So 6.375. And in the March scheme, they have gone with 6.4 moles per litre to the minus one. Whew. Okay. Right. So this is, that's definitely your hard bit, and I'm apologising if there's little bits of interruptions and stuff, but I'm not redoing. OK, explain why it was added in excess, and that's basically just to ensure it was all reacted. OK, to ensure there was no, that's that's it, that's not going to be a difficult one. Um, other than the apparatus, uncertainties and transfer errors suggest the reason why the experimental determination of the concentration of ethanol was higher. OK, now this is because, OK, we were looking at acidified potassium dichromate, and that's grand, OK? But you can't say that that's the only thing that it reacts with. So what we're looking at is other side reactions. That's really what's causing the problems here. OK, you can't tell that it's just ethanol that's going to react with the dichromate. A suitable control that could be used to validate. Well, a control would be to use a known pure ethanol. So basically, if you had pure ethanol, which you know is pure ethanol, and you have it set for specific um, concentrations, then you could test it against that, and that would give you a good, reasonable thing. Okay, I apologise for all the interruptions on this one, but that's going to have to do.